Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I am in Sarasota, Florida visiting Sarasota Jungle Gardens. This is a botanical garden plus a zoo. I'm going to take this off momentarily. Facial masks are required when indoor buildings and when you cannot socially distance. Not required when you're out walking around. I got my hat right at the beginning of the gift shop as I entered so not a huge property but they have a lot to offer they have different animal shows throughout the day however they do not allow filming of the actual animal shows so I won't be able to show you those but there's lots of animals here to look at as well as some plant life so let's look around I found a red-eared slider get that guy out Oh, cool. Let's go Western Painted Turtles. There's this guy up here. Got some Florida Gar. He's right there. Some of some of me. All right, American Alligator. There's some juvenile alligators. Cute little ones. They got alligator food here for a quarter. Get feed these little baby alligators. How oh, cute. So usually the alligators they have their feet on the bottom or their tail. And then you stick their head up out of the water. Cross and then we got American crocodile. Look how big this guy is. Really up close to him. Like See behind it? Oh yeah, boy. I think that's the closest I've ever gotten to a crocodile before. I hope they sell a piece of chicken so we can feed it. <laughs> He's got a larger American alligator. You see him right here. Now being the state of Florida, we got these guys all over pretty much any fresh body of water, including lakes, streams, rivers, uh, canals that are connected to other water sources. There's gonna be one of these guys in there. Alright, Aldabra tortoise. These guys are pretty decent sized. You get much larger than this as well. Alright, gonna go inside Reptile World building here. Got a smooth fronted caiman. There's a second one in here. See the head sticking up in the lower part of them. You can see the tail. And there's the lower part of the first one I showed you. Now we got a red tegu. Now that is interesting. Smooth fronted caiman up on the rock now. Got a frilled lizard. Just relaxing. Got a green tree python. Love the colorations of these guys. Got a blue tongued skink. There we go. Got a carpet python. How are we? Let's see. That's a pretty good size snakey. Got a boa constrictor. 
Gotta get a pretty decent sized habitat because it's a good sized snake. Got an Everglades rat snake. This guy's over on the side. So he's partially obscured, but he's got some cool coloration. Got a false water cobra. Green basilisk. This guy's got a cool looking habitat. See him right here. Good. Microphone was caught on the sign. We got a night knolls. Water droplets on the tank. But you can see them right up above. That's him. All right, so before we go any further, I'm going to show you the map that I was given. It's a paper map. So we are about right here by Reptile Orb. Okay. So we'll be able to see everything as we work our way around. Oh yeah, here we are to all of the macaws. Several different types. So nice. All right. looking bird. You have bird interaction and photos different times throughout the day. Alright, so Cata Tortoise. Actually have one of these guys at home. About half the size of these guys he is right now. His name is Sheldon. Yeah, we got some ring-tailed lemur. You can see this guy's fuzzy tail. There we go. Love how cute and fuzzy they are. Got a green iguana. There's the iguana. Sorry, kind of looks through the mesh. We got a kitty jungle playground. Nice elephant spitting out some water. You have some stuff for the kids to climb on and slides. You got black tailed prairie dogs. All right, seems like these guys are in the back right now. Because I don't see them out. I'll see on the other side of that box, there's a little hole where they can go in the back. So I'll check back a little bit later and see if I can get a look at them. There is some signage up. Let you know which direction to go for the different items that you want to see, or areas rather. Got this big, giant giraffe. Oh, we're gonna sever macaw. Hi, pretty birds. Hi. Oh, they're chatting. They are chatting. I'm not sure what they're saying to each other. Got a cotamundi. There's a little fuzzy thing here on the bottom. I'm not sure if I've ever seen one of these before. If I have, I just don't recall. It's 
pretty cute. All right, butterfly garden. Got the butterfly garden. I saw several butterflies flitting around. So we're actually gonna go inside and see if we can see some other butterflies. Uh, so normally there'd be butterflies all over the place in here. But this is not traditionally butterfly season. Because we are still technically in winter time. So usually spring is the best time to come to see lots of butterflies. But I actually did see a few of them outside. So during springtime, like I said, is going to be the best time to come here to look for butterflies. This time of year, everything is pretty much wilted and flowers are very scarce. Well, there we got Flamingo Cafe. If you're right through this building. We do have a limited menu right now. And right outside the Flamingo Cafe, you got this Koi Pond. All the bright colors. It's a good sized fish in here. And you got fish food here you can purchase. Guessing why it's all the fish are over here, right by me. I'm gonna bring any change with me, so I'll come back here to the cafe a little bit later and get something, and I'll get some change and I'll feed these guys. So they got a winding path that goes all around the property. Not really one-way path, but it makes a nice loop. Plenty of signs all around, reminding everybody to socially distance and stay six feet apart. Got a nice lake. Got a lava rock arch. You have to bend down a little bit. Woo! All right, we got American flamingo. Lots of white ibis all around. <laughs> I'm seeing people can feed the flamingos. I'm sure the white ibis wouldn't mind a snack also. You can purchase flamingo feed right up front in the gift shop. <laughs> <laughs> Got several ducks over here also. Plus a few opportunistic seagulls mixed in. All about the ponds. Guys trying to catch their own food. So if you neglected to purchase flamingo food at the gift shop, you can buy it here for a quarter. I'll show you the map again so you know where I'm at. I'm right here by the flamingos. So I'm gonna continue the path back over here where I was by the butterfly aviary. And we're gonna follow around here because there's some other animals to be able to see. Porcupine, crocodile, and work our way around. So I won't miss anything. Got some cute ducks. Uh, some mallards. Got the Gardens of Christ. There's the Nativity.
child Jesus in the temple. Sermon on the Mount. Raising Jairus' daughter. The Last Supper. The Crucifixion. And after the resurrection. Really love the way these trees grew together. Two different types of trees. Got the palm tree in the center. Alright, African crested porcupine. I can see him in the back. He's kind of under his little cave part. I will come back a little bit later, see if I can get a better view of him. You can see his quills. Ooh, coming soon. This is nice, got a nice little waterfall. You can see from the nice new wood and new brick, they are doing some renovations for the area. Got a black-throated monitor. I do not currently see them. Plenty of shade all along this trail. Very nice. There's also benches all throughout. So if you get tired, you just want to relax, enjoy the scenery. All right, they have a stand-up model of the map. You can see right where I'm at. Right, we got some Reeves's Muntjac. Oh, look at that coming right over. Hi. How are you, sweetheart? Hi, baby. Hi. Oh my gosh, so cute. Hi, how are you? Have a nice day, I hope. Yeah? That's a cute little critter. What a cute little critter. I really love seeing native Florida. Alright, we got the petting zoo. We do have some rules. We gotta follow. Got some chickies and some goaty goats. When they're cleaning up, she's doing her duty. Haha. <laughs> Man, look at that chicken. Wow. -ee. Wow. It's called a coaching chicken. And of course, the goaty goats. Look 
like a dwarf pygmy goats. I'm sure that's what they are. Got some sheep also. Alright, so most of these are Nigerian. These are Indian runner ducks. Can you stand up tall? Yeah. Oh, look at that! Get some tortoises. What kind of tortoise do you say these are? Um, red footed. Red footed, alright. A red foot tortoise. Yeah. I call them footed. Yeah, red foot tortoises. Very yeah. nice. You see the size difference? This one is 15 years old. I believe so, yes. Yeah. Alright, so they do have hand washing stations as well as hand sanitizer. So if you do pet the animals, it's recommended you wash your hands or sanitize. Do you have pellets here to feed the goats? A nice little waterfall. Sort of a trickle more than a waterfall. A little streams going all through it also. is nice. There's something cool to have in your yard. I got some Florida pond turtles. That's a good sized turtle right here. Got lots of little fish in here as well with them. Here we go, there's another turtle. Several of them around the back and I can't get to. You can also purchase turtle food. Right, we got the birds of prey. Alright, we got some barred owl. Oh wow. What a beautiful bird. Look at that. Oh, nice looking. Oh, we've got a red shouldered hawk. There we go, red shouldered hawk. Very pretty bird. There we got a red tailed hawk. There we go, red tailed hawk. Very nice bird. All right, red-tailed hawk. Look at that. Hi, bird. This is the second red-tailed hawk. All right. The jungle trail. I did notice this. My very favorite bird species, the laughing kookaburra. Absolutely love these types of birds. Just because they're so cool looking. There we go. Like I said, I love these types of birds. And we got palms on parade. I see several of them. Right here on this trail. Just information about the birds. This information about the birds. You see the bands on the flamingos, they are actually owned by the property and are taken care of. All these white ibis 
are wild birds. But like the seagull, they're very opportunistic. And anywhere they know there's a constant food source, you'll bet they'll be. I happen to look over and see this cool looking bird. So if you know what this bird is, leave a comment down below in the timestamp. Alright, so I came back to the fishies. I got some fish food now. Got the fishy food. Fishies eat it all. There we go. Fish food for everybody. Or some. There you go, fishies. Try to spread it around for them, you know. Try to spread it around for them. Give all the fishies some. Fishies! Fishies, there you go, fishes. There you go, fish. There we go. Yeah, I said I would feed the fish. There we go. That was fun. I'm a really good view of the fish now. I had 25 cents out of... I got 50 cents, so it was about a handful. A really nice view of these guys. Alright, so I am back up front. Made my initial walkthrough. There were a few animals that I didn't get a good view of the first time going through. So I'm going to go back now, see if I can see the missing animals and get a better view of some of the other ones. I see the crocodile moved a little bit. Got an alligator pile here. Do they eat? Well, no more. These guys are so cute. <laughs> Got some of them in the water. There you go. Right. These were actually sold as pets back in the 50s. Of course, people think they're really cute when they're little like this, but they forget that these guys get really large. Get some female peacock. See, they're not bright and flashy like the males, because the males come to them. And Mr. American Alligator has moved to a better viewing area. We saw the cute little babies. Or juveniles. It's definitely larger. Five or six, and then they start to slow down to about a centimeter to an inch a year. So since this one is about three to four feet long, it's probably about three to four years old. Three to four, okay. And the little guys you got in the pond over there? Or is mm -hmm. about yeah, so they range. Some of them are probably about two years old, and then some of them are probably about four years old. They're probably the oldest ones. In oh, there. okay. Yeah, I've seen a couple of little, little small ones too. Yeah. They're so cute. Yeah. Some more macaws. Hey, birdie bird. Males uh, ranchless don't have that long life span. Just because they don't live that long in the wild in general. But females can usually get up to 20 years old. Are these cool trees also. Where they wrap around each other. And the vines. Alright, so I came back to the black throated monitor's habitat. But apparently it's not in there. I even walked around the side thinking it was inside this box, but the box is sealed up, so there's no way for it to get in. So it's just not in here right now. But that's what they look like. Nice photo op for people. Big old alligator. Alright, came back to the porcupine. It's still in the same spot, but I got a much better view. Very cool looking animal. You just want to keep your hound dogs away from it. Alright, so I came back to the flamingos and I got some flamingo food. 
See if I can come up to these guys and see if they will eat out of my hand. Yeah, they are hungry. Hold on, I got some more. Just a second. Your beaks aren't sharp or anything, but it doesn't hurt. It is a weird, a weird sensation though, having all these little uh, beaks in my hand. A few more in there. You guys get them all. Get them all. And of course, any that drop on the ground, all these ibis here are happy to get it. Woo! Oh my goodness, birds. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I get them in my pocket, so I'm trying to get them out. So I can feed the rest of them. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Came back to the cut the Monday. You get a better view. Dang it for bugs, what it looks like. He's cute. A lemur like tail. Back in the sever macaw. This one up on the bars. Still chanting away with each other. Still don't know what they're saying either. All right, so I came back to the black-tailed prairie dogs habitat and they are still in the back. But this is what they look like. And the iguana moved. It's up higher now. Get a little better view. Used to have one of these guys when I was younger. Named Ziggy. Had it for about five years. Unfortunately, he got sick and passed away. Very mellow. The more you handle them, the more they enjoy it. Back at the ringtail lemur. There's fuzzies. Okay, but I'm gonna swing. And right next door, we got the other one picking his head out. One last look at all the macaws. Hello. Oh, that's a pretty bird, also. Got a real pretty red beak. Just tuck its head down on its back. Here we go. Oh yeah. Another bird. The pavilion houses all the different shows you have throughout the day. I was not able to film any of the shows. As I stated earlier, they do not allow it. So you enter and exit from the gift shop. We got all sorts of trinkets. A 
This is where I got my hat. The only come in black where it actually says Sarasota Jungle Gardens. All right, everybody, that was my visit to Sarasota Jungle Gardens. Nice little property. It's not a huge property. Don't come here expecting a full zoo because that it is not. They have lots of birds, a couple smaller animals. I had a good time. Nice, relaxing. The ambiance here is fantastic. I love old Florida attractions like this. This was from back in the 50s. Back before all the big theme parks like Disney and Universal took most of the tourism away. This is still actually a pretty popular place. There was quite a few people here today. So I did make sure I was socially distancing. Wore my face mask. One necessary was quite a few times actually. So if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you enjoyed what you saw. Leave me some comments down below. Name some of the animals that I asked you about. So, again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.